Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, still tracking showers, even some downpours, though not as widespread as it was earlier this afternoon, but the live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar Still showing uh, little elements of uh, green and some speckles of yellow indicating uh, some downpours. You can see it here and there. In between, it's just cloudy, damp, and humid. You see uh, one heavier band now across uh, Bristol County and Massachusetts in between uh, Somerset and Taunton heading towards uh, Plymouth County uh, very shortly. Another heavier area in Washington County in southern Rhode Island right now. And these little elements of yellow indicating some brief downpours as well. So the coverage is not as widespread but the chance is still there. In fact, in downtown Providence, here we go again with some showers coming back in after some heavier downpours a few hours ago. Temperature at 74. Dew point remains high, 72, and that's a tip off. You don't have to tell you, you've been outside already. You know how humid the atmosphere is. In fact, that high humidity helping to fuel some of these uh, heavier downpours. Temperatures now very uniform. Most spots in the low to mid 70s, 73 Newport, 74 Providence, and low 70s in Smithfield right now. You see that one heavy or widespread area of rain that came through this afternoon pushing offshore, but there are more elements of scattered showers and thunderstorms off to our south and west that will come through this evening overnight. More activity. The main weather system itself is still back to our west. That has to come through for tomorrow and why we have more showers and thunder in the forecast. Some of this moisture actually uh, in due in part to remnants from once uh, Hurricane Isaac. Futurecast starts off at 7 o'clock this evening, showing the clouds and every now and then random showers and thunderstorms passing through. 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, we've got some uh, wet weather and every now and then a downpour and the rumble of thunder. Advance the map into the afternoon hours around 2 o'clock, still tracking some showers and thunderstorms, some brief heavy downpours, even localized street flooding possible for tomorrow. And the risk, though, scattered is there for tomorrow evening as well. So, kind of sounds like a broken record, but more of the same this evening. Again, it's not as widespread. There'll be opportunities to get outdoors. We don't get soaked, but the risk is there. Keep the umbrella on standby. Showers and thunder overnight tonight with areas of fog and some downpours. Temperatures in the 70s allow for some extra travel time tomorrow morning, 73 to 79, the morning range in temperature. And then during the afternoon, showers and thunder, some occasional downpours, highs, upper 70s to around 80. Bay forecast has southwest winds at 10 to 20. Uh, waves are choppy at 1 to 3. Three feet poor visibility. Tropical storm Leslie in the bottom of your TV set with winds of 65 miles per hour will drift very slowly towards Bermuda. In fact, it'll take until Sunday to get near the island as a Category 2 hurricane. Now, the early call is to have the storm pass well out to sea east of New England. However, even with storms that are far out at sea, you can get some large swells and surf. In fact, a heavy surf advisory has been issued for our beaches starting tomorrow. Seven day outlook shows the the wet weather for tomorrow. A little bit, a bit of a break on Thursday, even Friday, not too bad. Chance of a shower. Right now, going scattered activity Saturday and Sunday. The early call is that both days are not a washout, but the chance is there with a temperature near 80. So Leslie stays away, but the waves will start to build at our beaches next several days. Surfers are going to be out. They will be. Be careful. Okay. Thanks, Donnie. Coming up next.